my name is uh, Kelly Mangold. I'm from Port Clinton, Ohio. And what I have to say today is could possibly save um, a family member's life. I just want everybody to know I'm not a public speaker, but the message that I have to say is important. My son Kyle Thayer died of an overdose on October 19th, 2016. During that time that my son was fighting that monster, um, Well, I'm Leisha Fakirawan, Mama Dukes, here with the Warrior Project, first of all, that we have the honor to be visiting today. Um, Kelly reached out to me shortly after her son passed away, and um, when I was home in Ohio, I went to meet with her because so much of her story affected me on how many other families are going through what she's going through, and one of the big things was her asking courts, lawyers, mental health, uh, judges, anyone that she could, is there anything out there that I can mandate my son into treatment? And I shared with her some information about Casey's Law, which was passed in 2012. And tell them how you felt when you found um, out. I found out, first of all, on my birthday, November 5th. And when I, find out, when I found out, I cried for a week about that. Um, I believe that if I could have Casey acted my son, I believe that he would be standing here today. Um, I did ask his mental health, um, the courts, even at one time, some attorneys, if there's anything I could do to deem my son incompetent for um, his substance abuse, and I was told no, that he would not fit the criteria. Um, so after my son's death, I thought, I can't stand around and watch this anymore. Um, I've been in the law enforcement field now for 17 years, and none of this was available at hand. I didn't even know anything about the law. It's Senate Bill 117, and our Governor Kasich signed it in March of 2012. During this time um, that my son has been gone in a month, I've had the opportunity to visit um, different courts, and at nowhere is any of that paperwork available, the Casey Act, um, to um, involuntarily admit anybody over the age of 18 for treatment. I didn't see any courthouses that I went to. I traveled to different hospitals, um, mental health facilities. I had asked um, various people in law enforcement. Um, I asked people in the mental health field and no one has even heard of it. So the message I think I want to get out today is that there is information out there. There is a KC Act. Um, another thing that um, my son was left um, he was down for 40 minutes before anyone even got him any kind of help. I think what's really important is our amnesty laws and that the Good Samaritan Law be talked about. And again, none of this stuff is available in courthouses, hospitals, mental health facilities, where this information can get out to, get out to people. We have to learn not to leave people behind. If you are with someone and they're overdosing, the first thing is do you even know what an overdose looks like? Um, if you call for help, you call 911, don't touch anything at the scene. If it's a small amount of drugs you have on you, even if it's a big amount, take that chance and save that person. 40 minutes, my son was 22 years old. 22 years old, a half mile from a hospital where he could have gotten help and his friends allege that they were scared. All I'm asking that you do is if you see it, report it. If you know it, tell it. If you love someone that's using drugs, don't don't hide it from their parents. Don't hide it from their loved ones. Tell somebody. They'll be mad at you for a minute, but they'll thank you for it, it later. Some of this information that I'm telling you, as a law enforcement officer, again, I knew nothing about. And I believe that if I would have Casey acted my son, he would be here today. So I was able to reach out to Alicia like she was telling you. There was no pamphlets with her name on it. Um, I didn't know anything about the Warrior Project. Um, Again, Leisha, that none of this stuff is available where parents like me or anybody else that has a loved one, for these other opportunities that, that could be forwarded to them to save people's lives. Um, I went in one time um, about a year and a half ago when my son was missing and went into a heroin house with a friend of mine and got my son. If I would have known about this warrior project, I could have then asked them for help to, to come with me to get my son. So now I started thinking how many parents out there and, lo and love people that you love don't know about these things. I'm moving that we have stricter laws and that we have pamphlets put out there in courthouses, police departments, mental health facilities, places where people can know about these other options. 
we've got to start embracing our addicts and start protecting them and meeting with judges and meeting with doctors and reminding them this is done on a case by case basis but not all addicts are criminals and you know don't kick our, their support system out from underneath them. I think that we really need to review those things and, and really start getting together in communities and taking back our communities and taking back our towns from these drug dealers. There are more of us than there are them. We need to start standing together and not standing apart and not being me, me, me and everybody getting in the room and thinking that they know what's good. These are good groups for parents. These are other out of the box ideas that I wish I had. If I would have known about the Warriors and if I would have known about Leisha from Fuck Heroin, my son would be here today. I'm 100% confident, confident of that. Casey's Law would have protected my son and nobody knows about it, nobody. You know, we've worked nonstop since I had the pleasure of meeting Kelly November mm -hmm. 5th. Um, I feel like I've known her forever. I'm introducing her to every group that I know that's good mm -hmm. out there, which is why we drove today to meet with the Warriors. You're going to hear a lot more from us. All of us groups are going to be collaborating together as one. Not that we haven't in the past, but we're going to work yeah. more closely together to make changes and do what needs to be done out here. So, uh, if you if have, you, if you need help, I'm going to cut you off. So, if, we, if, if you need help, reach out to us. Reach out to Leisha. I'm Kelly Mayo, you can find me right on Facebook, you can inbox me, you can call me, 419-635-5683. I mean, if you need help, we have resources that can help you, and start co contacting your, your, your county commissioners, your mayors, your sheriffs, your, your state representatives, that's why they are there, they are there to help you. Help get the word out about Casey's Law, help get the laws out about Good Samaritan Laws. You know, let people know they can call for help. I want to challenge everyone today, Go out there and ask everyone you see, have you heard of Casey's Law? Have you heard of the Good Samaritan Act? If they haven't, you've heard about it now. Please educate every and everyone you can. If no one told you today they love you, we love you. Yep. We're here to make a difference. We love the Warrior Project. Mm -hmm. Together, we can all work together to make a change. Thank you.